Tonight, Russia is slamming the United States for the 18-month prison sentence order for Maria Butina, calling it politically motivated. The admitted Russian uh, agent learning her fate in a Washington, D.C. federal court. Uh, Sienna Sarah Murray has been doing a lot of reporting on this. Uh, Butina spoke for, what, about five minutes pleading uh, to be released, allowed to go back to Russia, but this federal judge wasn't buying it. No, she really wasn't. She sentenced uh, Butina to 18 months. Butina's already been in jail for nine, so she's looking at potentially nine more months behind bars. And, you know, the judge said this was not just a simple misunderstanding by an overeager foreign student. This wasn't just a filing violation. She said that, you know, what Maria Butina did, it was serious, it was sophisticated, it was dangerous, it could have jeopardized uh, national security here in the U.S. And she pointed out that, look, this was all happening, Maria Butina's activities, at a time when Russia was trying to interfere in the U.S. elections. And Maria Butina did speak in her own defense. You know, she apologized. She, she said she was actually trying to improve relations between the U.S. and Russia. And ironically, she realized this actually damaged them. We've also heard from the Russian Foreign Ministry, which is weighing in on her case today. Uh, they said the charges um, and her, her uh, sentence are politically motivated. They said the charges she faced were completely far-fetched and fabricated in nature. You had an opportunity to go behind bars to talk to her before the sentencing today. Tell us what she said. I did. I visited her a couple times in the Alexandria Detention Center under the agreement that I wouldn't use anything until after she had been sentenced. And, you know, she was really looking forward, first of all, to going back to her hometown in Siberia. She said she didn't want to become a media darling or a television star. That's what happened to Anna Chapman when she went back, you know, was sent back to Russia as part of the 2010 spy swap. And she also said this has been really difficult on her family. You know, she's had to answer questions from her parents when prosecutors said she was trying to trade sex for access. You know, they later walked that back. But she had to answer some awkward questions from her father when those allegations initially came out. I also asked her about some of the other folks who were allegedly involved in this scheme. You know, she's been cooperating with prosecutors against her boyfriend, Paul Erickson, but she said that she hopes he doesn't face any charges. He's in enough potential legal trouble already. And Alexander Torshin, who is her Russian handler, she says he's basically cut her off entirely. All right, I'm sure you can continue to work this story for us. Great reporting as usual, Sarah. Thank you very, very much.